In this video, I'll be talking about the sieve of Erythosthenes. Erythosthenes was born in Cyrene, now known as Libya, and lived in Alexandria, Egypt around 2300 years ago. He made important contributions to many subjects, especially geography. In number theory, he is famous for method of producing a list of prime numbers up to a given bound without actually using the division. And to see how this work, we will find all the prime number up to a stage. And for this, let me to consider the example and list all the numbers from 1 to 50 and we'll search all the primes between this range. So now in this list, just ignore 1 because 1 is neither a prime nor a composite number as I've already discussed in my earlier video. And also all the other numbers are actually the multiple of 1. So let's start searching it from this first number 2 and circle this number 2. Cross off all the multiples of 2. So we cross off all those integers which are multiple of 2. And we keep on continuing till the time all those multiples of 2 list is not exhaust. So we see all the even numbers here they are crossed off. Now look at the next integer which is not crossed off that is 3. So circle 3. And now cross off all the multiples of 3 and in this case we are going to cross 9, 15 and 21, 27, 33, 39, 45. Now select the next number that is 5 and cross all the multiples of 5. So we can again look at the continuation in the system and 25 is crossed off. We see 35 is crossed off. So cross all the multiples of 5 in this list. Next number that we select is the 7. Circle the 7 number because 7 has not been crossed off. Now cross off all the multiples of 7. So when we cross all the multiples of 7, we see this 49 is crossed off. And now we stop the process at 7 only to see the primes which are less than or equal to 5. And now circle all the numbers which are left out. So 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43 and 47. These are now the prime numbers. And let's see why did I stopped at 7 only and to see all the primes which are less than or equal to 50 because under root of 50 is approximately equal to 7.07 .07. and to support that we have this result that if n is composite then n has prime factor p less than or equal to under root n and that is why we can use this result to stop the sieve of retursis process and to see this proof of this result let us see if n is a composite number we know that n is a composite number we can write this as a multiple of two integers and a and b and 1 is strictly uh, less than or equal less than a less than or equal to b strictly less than n. So we are not taking the trivial condition say if a is equal to n then obviously b has to be equal to n and if a is equal to n then b has to be equal to 1. So that's not the case when we take this as a composite number that means there is a proper divisor corresponding to this. Writing is n as a multiple of two uh, integers such that this holds that that integer a is strictly less than n and strictly greater than 1 and similarly this integer b is strictly greater than 1 and strictly less than n and now so we can write down that a square is less than or equal to a times b which is equal to n so now from here this is very clear that a must be less than or equal to under root n so if n is appearing as a multiple of a that means a must be less than or equal to under root n and so we can take that if p be a prime number which divides a so p is a prime number which divide a then definitely p is less than or equal to a less than or equal to root n and that is how we can stop this sieve of Erythosynes process at this integer now let me to take another example suppose that you want to list all the prime numbers up to thousand so in case we want to list all the prime number up to thousand so what we need to do is take the under root of thousand which is approximately equal to 31.6 so this means we need to cross out the multiples of only the primes through 31. So we have to see the multiples of 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on up till 31. So once we cross off all the integers which are up till 31, we get the prime numbers which are remaining through this cross off process between 1 to 1000. And of course 1 is not a prime number so we will circle it from the number 2 only. So but this process will give us all the prime numbers which are up to 1000.